At least two million Americans will develop an antibiotic resistant infection this year and drugs that used to work like penicillin or amoxicillin often don't anymore. These resistant infections are on the rise and researchers say it's something that should concern all of us. Shelley Botat has more on some promising research. Researchers are looking for ways to solve the ever-growing problem of antibiotic resistance. They're looking for new drugs as well as ways to make old ones work better. Each year, 23,000 Americans die from antibiotic-resistant infection. The days when you could give a patient an antibiotic and you were pretty darn sure it was going to work are pretty much gone. Bacterial infections that could once easily be cured now have potential to kill. Corey Detweiler's team wants to make antibiotics more effective. They searched through 14,000 compounds and found three that show promise. We've been able to find some chemicals, some compounds that inhibit bacteria from pumping out antibiotics. Many bacteria have developed efflux pumps that pump out antibiotics meant to kill them. Detweiler's compounds block those pumps. If we can inhibit those efflux pumps, then we essentially resensitize that bacterium to a particular antibiotic. Neuroscientist Pam Harvey's students search thousands of compounds looking for new antibiotics. In general, one in 10,000 compounds tested will become a drug in the pharmacy for you. For Harvey, the research is important. It's also personal. My dad um, got pneumonia over the summer. This is a guy who rides motorcycles and goes on trips with his friends. Two weeks later, he passed away from an antibiotic-resistant strain of pneumonia. It's been a tough road, but she remains focused on her work. The problem is not going away, it's getting worse. Detweiler says there are some simple steps we can take to reduce the risk of infection. That includes treating even the smallest of cuts with neosporin or alcohol. And if you're given a course of antibiotics, it's important to take them exactly as prescribed. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botel, Local 5 News.